Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here, another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve Windows 10 randomly shutting down on your computer. So hopefully this should be a pretty quick and easy tutorial to follow, and we're going to jump right into it. And we're going to start by opening up the Star menu, and you want to type in Device Manager, and the best match that comes up should say Device Manager directly above Control Panel. You want to left click on that one time to open it up. And now I recommend if you have any new drivers or drives that you've recently updated or installed on your computer, I recommend that you do what I'm about to show you guys right now. And that would be to expand wherever category would fall underneath. So let's see the network adapters. I've just installed a new network adapter here. I'm going to right click on it. And then I'm going to left click on the properties option at the bottom of this context menu. And now I'm going to left click on the driver tab. And now if you have an option to roll back the driver, I would recommend left clicking on it. Since I haven't updated the driver yet, there's no option, so that's why it's grayed out. However, I would also recommend you update the driver up at the top, and then select search automatically for updated driver software. This will take a moment, so you just want to be patient. And if it says that the best driver software is already installed, just click on close. And now once you've done that, I recommend heading back over to the Start menu. And you want to type in CMD. Best match should take Command Prompt directly above Desktop App. You want to right click on that. And then left click on Run as Administrator. And if you receive a User Account Control window, you want to select Yes. And now into this elevated command line window, you want to type in CHK, DSK, space, and now you want to enter in your local disk that Windows is installed on. So in my case, it's the C drive. So I'm going to do a C colon all together. You're not going to put a space in between the two. Another space and now forward slash F. So exactly how it appears on my screen. And if you're unsure what your drive letter is that Windows is installed on, you can just open up the start menu and type in File Explorer. And the best match that should come up should say File Explorer directly above Desktop App. You want to left click on that one time to open it up. And now go underneath and left click on this PC on the left side here. And now whatever your local disk is, you want to take note of the drive letter in here. So in my case, it's a C drive. So if it's a little different for you guys, don't be surprised. So you, the only thing you'd be doing is swapping out this C right here with another letter. And then once you have it as it appears on my screen right here, you're going to hit enter. And then obviously you cannot run because the disk is currently in use. So what I'd recommend doing at this point is to close out of any open programs or applications you have installed on your computer or open on your computer. And then you want to type Y into this elevated command line window. And then you're going to hit the enter key. And then it's going to check your disk as your computer is restarting. And hopefully your problem has been resolved. So I appreciate you guys watching. I hope it helped you out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.